Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a special Genshin Impact News Digest. In this video, we'll have a look at a lot of news regarding to getting more free promo gems. So in this video, we'll have a look at some of the upcoming promo gems, which will be compensated for some of the errors in the game. And also there's a special promo gem event, which we can get under 100 promo gems. We'll have a look at the details of this one and also the extension of the Prime account for additional rewards. There's also some of the Promo Gems events, which I will briefly go through to you guys about. You might have heard of this one. There's also some different posts about getting more Promo Gems, and also there's an official story teaser. There's also a number of posts about getting more Promo Gems. As you can see, this video will focus on all the Promo Gems. There's 40 more Promo Gems with a companion, and also we have a special community event on our Discord about getting more Promo Gems. I'll briefly go through the community event with you guys on this video as well, with the first prize getting over 2,000 Promo Gems, and also we'll have a few things to share. And on this special community event, we'll have a selection of only six different characters, and we can only use four star weapons and also different pieces of artifacts. The re event have some very interesting rules, which I'm very excited to share with you guys about, and the rewards for the event are over here. So the first prize will be including the first package of the $30 package, while the second prize will be the $15 package plus the $5 package. The third prize will be including of the $15 package. And we'll briefly talk about this as well for our community event and also how this works. Finally, we'll also have a look at some of the fun and also main posts on Reddit, and this one is pretty interesting. Our friend here have gotten seven genes so far, and he have not gotten any of the other characters. I mean, oh, I, I don't know what to say. We'll talk about this. This is some extraordinary luck over here. And we'll also have a look at some of the new NPCs and also new loots within patch 2.1, with the all NPC that gives us the location of new ores and also a hidden chest, which some of you might have found it, but if you haven't, we'll have a look at this one for the two furniture blueprints. And also, <laughs> the finally something interesting. I saw this post. I'm not sure if this is uh, like a meme of this actually works. So I actually had my own recording and testing on this one. I'll share this one with you guys at the end of the video. So I was like, how does it work to cancel animations? Because it could be pretty cool. We can save some time with canceling animations and cast more spells and also do more damage. Now the focus of this video will be focusing on free promo gems and also ways to get more promo gems. And I came across this Reddit post with Kihon Pokid, and I was reading this, I was like, hey, what's happening? So as you guys might have noticed, we usually get an update summary of what's coming into the game. And sometimes those are just minor bug fix. But this time, our friend here on Reddit actually stated that this will actually provide us with 100 promo gems for compensation. And usually this is not the case. So what is happening is there will be another hot fix with Raiden Shogun. And this time it's a skill description of a concession 2, which there will be no changes with the description. Oh, sorry. There will be no changes with the skill itself and the way it works. But the description will be changed because previously it wasn't saying during the state of the burst ultimate. Now this will be stated and she will ignore 60% of the damage. Oh, she will ignore 60% of the defense of the enemy. I mean, if we are not getting her to Constitution 2, it's not a big deal for us. But the good part is, the compensation will be rewarded on the 9th of September. And this is a guaranteed 100 Promo Gems for everyone to come on the 9th. And this is pretty nice, right? This is almost close to one wish. You know, we need 160 for one wish. You know, we keep those up. We already got 100 Promo Gems from Radiant Shogun, and this will be the second 100 Promo Gems which is a pretty good sign. We might be getting, you know, different changes and maybe even buffs to Electro characters in the future. So you can tell the developers are very focused on this character. And it is likely, depending on the community's feedbacks about her, we might even get a buff or maybe changes to Electro characters because the community are more focused on the Electro characters as well. So this is the first official news, and this is a guaranteed 100 Promo Gems on the 9th of September. And the second part is, I did notice that there was official posts about chances to win merchandise and also promo gems over here on this post. Initially, the first time I read this post, I thought this is only for the 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 Prime players or the you know the Amazon Prime accounts. That this is only for those because those bundles are available. But upon further reading, what I realized is for any player that participate on this randomized event, I know guys. Genshin Impact loved to have random rewards for random events. So even the events are captured and randomly generated. So on this event, what you have to do is come to this post, which I'll have the link available for you guys. Make sure you make a comment. And this comment has to tell, you know, Genshin Impact about something that is persistent in life, whether it's in the game or outside of the game. 
And once you post something like this, I'll give you guys some examples. Some places are saying, hey, well, the KFC wing gliders, where are those coming? So you can see again, talking about the wing gliders and people are talking about the things that's persisting in, the, in, in their life or in the game. So once you made a post, there will be a chance out of all the posting players, there will be 16 winners that will be selected and the winners will be given 100 promo gems. I mean, <laughs> the, the, what I read that was like, come on guys, seriously? You, you make an event, you should just give everyone a promo gems, right? Why not just give us a promo gem code? But no, <laughs> they are making a randomized getcha event for rewards outside of the game. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'll take it. So the biggest highlight over here is that this event will end in about one to two days time. And I, I'm, I apologize for not posting this a little earlier, guys, because what I realized is initially when I saw this post, I thought this is only for the Amazon Prime account because I read the last part, the participation, but this is actually a different part. This is the Amazon Prime package. So the, notice that this is the bundles, this says 60 promo gems. But over here, everyone who participate on making a correct comment can still have a chance to win the 100 promo gems. So currently, there's about less than 5,000 comments. So if we think of probability, our chance of getting uh, 100 promo gems on this event is over 1%. <laughs> so the focus is make sure if you're interested in having a chance to win 100 promo gems, make sure you come over to this post and make a correct comment on this post. And that's that's the focus, guys. So the first part is we're guaranteed to get 100 promo gems on the 9th. The second part is, you know, similar to the, by the 9th, we have a chance of getting another 100 promo gems. Well, that's 200 promo gems, right? So let's keep going with the promo gems. Now coming over to another official event for Genshin Impact. This one is more tricky because this one actually talks about getting players to make a Twitch account and becoming a streamer. So this might not be for all of us, but if you guys are interested in making your Twitch account also become a streamer when you have free time, do consider having a look at this event because depending on the number of hours you stream on Genshin Impact and also the number of followers you get, you can get 500 promo gems, you know, 1,000, 1,500 promo gems. So there is definitely a chance to get more promo gems if you do plan to stream the game live. And you do have to meet a certain requirement for getting the number of streamers or getting a number of followers. Now coming over to the final piece of the official information for our News Digest. As you guys might have noticed, there is another YouTube story teaser for Raiden Shogun, and this is about her internity. So if you guys haven't seen it, I won't give you guys any spoilers. This is another of the Genshin Impact of the teasers for Raiden Shogun. And this is about over the island of the Narakumi and also how you know she became the, the person or the journeys for Raiden Shogun. So I won't give you guys any spoilers. I'll have the official post ready for you guys to have a look. This was posted in about 11 hours ago. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Now that we had a look at all the official newses, we also have a very special event that is currently happening on our own Discord. So this is the Majestic Discord that we have with all the Genshin gamers and also different gamers. So for Genshin Impact, we do have a speedrun event with a Nemo Traveler. And this event is quite interesting. So I'll give you guys a quick summary of what is happening in this event. And you know, this is something I do plan to make some videos about and I'm quite excited for this event. So I definitely want to invite everyone who's interested in trying out this event and you know, be I'll give you guys the details of the event. I'll also give you guys one warning of the event so you don't waste too much of your resource. So what is happening is we're having a special event and this event will start on the 1st of October. And this event will be about defeating different bosses that will be announced when the event starts. So there will be three rounds and different bosses will be announced for each of the round. And by defeating those bosses, whoever of the players that satisfy the conditions of defeating those bosses is the fastest in killing them and the top you know, section of the players will participate in the next round of the event. And what is happening is we're saying that we can only use six of the different characters. So starting with Animal Traveler, Amber, Kaya, Lisa, Barbara, and also Shaolin. Notice that they're majority free characters and also they're pretty much four star characters. So everyone is likely to have them. So everyone who wants to participate can participate. We can also only use the four star weapons with any refinement. We can also only use a maximum of the two pieces of the same artifact. 
Notice that we're putting more restrictions to the event so that we have something different, some different themes and different mechanics of the event. And with all three rounds of the battle, initially you can use all six of those characters, but with each of the round, you have to voluntarily lose one of your character, like banning one of your own characters. So if you ban Shaolin for one of the round, the next round you can only have five characters. And if you ban Lisa for the next round, next round you can only have four characters. So this goes to the final round. And this makes things more challenging and also more difficult. So to participate in this event, we do have the details on Discord. And if you guys haven't joined Discord, definitely check it out. We do have a big community of friendly people. And do come to the announcement section for the more details in the participation and also submission of the event. The prices for this special Discord event will be for three places. The first place players will be given the chance to purchase the $30 USD pack for the Primal Gems. So if you have already purchased the pack, it's about over 2,200 Primal Gems. But if you haven't, after the reset of patch 2.1, you can get 1,980 plus the, you know, the 100% bonus, which is close to 4,000 Primal Gems. The second place will be the $15 pack and also the $5 pack. The third place will be the $15 pack. So those are the prices for this event. We do plan to run more events in the future, and this is one of our practice in running the event. So if you guys are interested in this unique special event, definitely check out our Discord. Now before we go away from this event, something I do want to warn you guys. If you're planning to participate, make sure you be aware that we're using 4-star characters, and I do not want you guys to spend too much of your resource in investing in characters that you might not need for the future of parts of the game. So try to not get Amber, Kaya, Lisa to level 90 just for this event, because I don't want you guys to, you know, use up too much resource. So make sure you guys, if you plan to participate in the event, participate wisely and not overuse your resource. Because if you have a 5-star weapon, then there isn't a need to get the 4-star weapon to level 90, right? Similarly, if you're using someone like Ayaka, you might not need Kaya as much. So maybe don't level all the characters up too much just for the event. So that's a small warning because I don't want to, you know, make an event and get you guys to waste all the resource. So be aware, guys, if you're participating in this event. Now, on the topic of additional loot and also freebies in the game, we also have a post from Riku over here about the companion set for Aoi. So notice that Aoi is a free 5-star character if you do log in with a PS4 or PS5 account. And those two furnitures will give 20 Primal Gems each. So you can get the 40 Primal Gems for those two furnitures. And it is posted over here. You can see that she can craft those two furniture sets. Now, for most of us, we might not have the character. But if you do plan to have her, or we'll be getting her on patch 2.2. So on 2.2, we can build those two sets and get the free 40 Primal Gems. So you can start to prepare for those sets now. And on the next patch, that's easy 40 Primal Gems, right? So it's like pre-ordering our Primal Gems for the next patch. Over here, we also have a post from SCC Studio about a special NPC in patch 2.1. And this NPC is similar to most of the other NPCs. If you speak to him daily, he will give you locations of different ores that can be farmed in the game. And this is pretty, pretty nice if you're looking for different minerals and also ores to find. And I know some of our friends wants to speak to all the NPCs and find all of them. So this is a new one that is added to the game. And similarly, there is a hidden chest in the game. I'm not sure if you guys have found this one. So Mouse Chain over here noticed he highlighted that is, there is a hidden chest behind the Electro Ocenet. And this is the location after the, the little os, the Electro Grammar. So one of the reasons I wasn't you know, showing you guys this in the game is I'm currently still a little behind with my Archon story because I haven't got to the stage yet. So we're going through some of the Reddit guides for now. But in the future, if I find them in the game, I'll show you guys where they are in the game. So there's a small chest, and this will give us two furnitures. And, you know, in case we're building furnitures for the future. It is said also here in the comments that in the future, we might be getting more furnitures for the, you know, for more blueprints and also more furniture sets for more promo gems for patch 2.2 and also patch 2.3. Now coming over to some of the fan posts, and oh boy, this one is a little ridiculously interesting. <laughs> so we have a post from Baraka over here, and I'm not sure if this is legitimate or if he photoshopped this one. So I'll give our friend the trust that this is actually true, but oh gosh, I feel so bad for him. So, I mean, well, maybe he wanted the six-star jing. <laughs> I call it this a six-star jing, because <laughs> he's got seven jings, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say. A friend here started on March when he summoned the first Jin. And on 
September, he summoned his final constellation of Jin. So the first copy of Jin, and then he summoned six more. So he got seven Jin's. <laughs> and notice that uh, the other standard characters, he haven't got any of them. So it's likely he summoned on the standard banner. And <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and here someone's like, can I have a copy, please? <laughs> but I, I don't know, guys. Sometimes you just get all the Jin's in the world. <laughs> and I guess that it's, it's really lucky, right? <laughs> I, I don't know, guys. So... A friend definitely have a luck for Jin, and maybe he's getting a special Jin swimming suit easy now. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Jokes aside, I think it's very rare to get a Jin to Constitution 7 and not having the other characters in the game. So, there's something special about his account, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So, our friend here definitely needs to share more of his luck with us, and in the future, if a special character comes, he's like, I'm going for Constitution 6, <laughs> and he just goes through and gets a character. Now, coming over to the final post. I was thinking this would be a really good tip if we can make it work. So Axta over here said he discovered something today is to cancel the five star character ultimate animation. And this makes them just like the four star characters ultimate that doesn't go through the animation. I was thinking that this can actually have practical uses because some characters after an animation like Zhongli, the enemies are stoned for four seconds, but the animation takes like a second. Similarly, like Electro Archon, Red and Shogun, her animation is casted, but after that, she only gets 7 seconds to attack. So if we can cancel that ultimate animation, we can get more time to attack for the debuffs and also special buffs. But I've tried it in the game. I couldn't somehow get this to work. So let me know what you guys think and if you guys figure this out. And I'll show you guys the replay I tried in the game. And while I was holding the button, while I'm not holding the button, I couldn't get this to work. But if you can, can figure out how to uh, cancel animations, let me know in the comments, guys. We can share with everyone, and we can we can actually make characters much stronger by doing this. Even characters like Xiao, character like Noel, who cast the animation, and then they start to attack. This can be really good. So coming to my replay in the game, notice here I'm holding down my best spell button, the Q button, and this is me casting with Menti, and I'm holding down my best spell button with Zhongli. Notice that there's still animation. I was hoping to take away the animation so we don't have the delay with the casting and also the effects after. What I did was, I also went to find different monsters, and this time I wasn't holding down the button, so I just pressed the button instead of holding it down. I can't really tell the difference between the animation of the casting, so let me know what you guys think. Notice that the speed of the two casting by holding down the button and not holding down the button seems to be very similar to me. So I don't think I'm gaining the speed here. I'm also testing with Ganyu and also Zhongli. So if you guys do find a way to cancel the animations of the characters, the 5 stars, this can actually be really good. So let me know in the comments guys if you find a way about this one. Now hopefully you guys found this video helpful. It has been a while since we had a Genshin Impact Digest, and now I really do want to focus on some of the interesting, you know, Primal GM news, some of the speculations, no leaks, just speculations on what's to come in the future, and also some of the interesting news with official news, with different events, different, you know, trailers, and also hear different loots in the game, and also something quite interesting, right? Our friend here have some really ridiculously good and also special luck with getting Jin. And we can also talk about different things we can test in the game. And also we talk about our tournament. So let me know what you guys think about this type of the news digest. And I do plan to make more news videos regarding to what's to come in the game. And also plans, different tips, and also different guides. I also plan to make a series of videos of me preparing for this special event. Because I think it will be quite interesting if we are practicing and also, you know, considering planning to build characters that we all have in the game and giving those characters a new chance of to participate in different events. Whether it's official event or maybe it's not official event, we'll make a special event with special rules. And this can be quite interesting to bring more you know, fun times and also interesting you know, tournaments into the game. So let me know what you guys think about this one as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And I'll have the links to our Discord available on the on our YouTube videos, so definitely check out our, our Discord channel if you want to find a friendly team of gamers and also players, and we're very mature gamers, very friendly. Thank you again for supporting me guys, I'll see you guys next time on to YouTube. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.